everyone this is Joanna welcome to my channel today I'm going to talk about random favorites and it's for favorites for 2016 so things I like that have nothing to do with beauty and makeup they're just other favorites because of course I have other favorites as well it's not just makeup and beauty Okay, um, so yeah, if you like these kinds of videos where we talk about books and stationery and gadgets and clothes and stuff, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below and give this a thumbs up because it really helps. I don't know how, but that's what everyone says, so I'm saying it as well. Um, and yeah, let's start this 2016 random favorites I'm going to talk about stationary books uh, organization stuff and um, gadgets clothes a bag so just a few random stuff that's why it's randoms so let's start off with what I have right in front of me planners and agendas because if you've watched any other videos you've noticed that I like planning so yeah I got the Kate Spade agenda in uh, July and I've been using it to plan my um, videos and to write down things I want to do as far as blogging and social media is concerned and I really like it it's very chic there is lots of space to write in I added a million little charms and stuff on it which are not necessary of course there is a nice folder at the beginning, like a little envelope at the front of the agenda. There's a monthly overview. There's a lot of space and it looks really nice on my desk. So this is planning and organization agenda number one, which is a favorite. And hang on, let me just keep it open because that's where I have my notes. As I said, I use it to plan my videos and stuff and make notes. So, yeah, that's one thing. The other thing I really enjoyed, I got this from Waterstones uh, in the summer from the UK. And it's my to-do list. And it's really pretty. And it makes me do stuff. And I write down what I want to do. And then there's a little box where I can check whatever I'm doing. So, that's cool. So, and there's a little magnet behind it, so you can stick this on your fridge, which is a good idea. And as you know, I love making uh, scrap, I love scrapbooking, and I like planners and all that. So this is my new happy planner, it's hello life, normal discs, you can, if you've never seen a happy planner, I'll just tell you what it is. You have your monthly view, where you can write down things you want to do throughout the month. And then you have your um, weeks, and you can just plan your weeks. And I use it more for scrapbooking. I like to write down things I'm going to do, and just to, you know, be creative. So this is more me relaxing and planning than me actually planning. I don't, I don't plan in this um, planner every week but because I like being creative and stuff this is more of a hobby than just planning planning um, so yeah those are my planner agenda favorites for 2016 and they're gonna be what I'm gonna be using in 2016 I'm gonna link all the products down below their affiliate links and I'm gonna link them down in the description box so if you want to check them out you can check them out so I like having pretty stuff on my um, desk so another favorite is you know using a mug sticking some flowers in it and your favorite pens and you know you just put it on your desk and it looks pretty I like the way it looks so yeah you know these pens are really nice and I like them I got them from Amazon I'll link them down below I like them because they say the color of the pin on it and because I'm colorblind this is really helpful for me so that's another favorite so yeah you know nice cute pens and pencils in your nice mug and a flower if you want to make your desk look a bit more pretty 
you can do that. Uh, gadgets I used a lot in 2016. I'm going to mention two. One is this. I don't know if you can see the light. So this is a book light and you put it in your book. You put it on the page. There's a little, I don't know what this is called, a little thing here. You put it in the page and you read. It gives a little bit more light. I don't know if you can see how much, but yeah, it's it's good and it's pink and uh, it's from a company called Tiny, I think. So yeah, I'll link that down below as well. If you're looking for a book uh, light, this is good. It doesn't blind you and it, shared, it, it the light is enough for you to read. Um, and the other gadget, the other random thing I enjoy and I've been using a lot ever since I got it is this um, speaker for my mobile phone. So I have my music, you turn on the Bluetooth of your phone and the Bluetooth of this and it plays music really, really loudly. So, loud. And I really like it. So yeah, it's from a company called JBL. I don't know, this retailed for about 25 euro in Greece. I'll link that down below as well. If you're interested, this would make a nice gift as well. If you still haven't bought anyone anything, it's a good gift. So, let's move on to two of the books I really enjoyed this year. I think this is, if you want something light-hearted and easy read, The Rosie Project. It's a funny book. It's about a man who tries to find a wife, a professor, who's trying to find his wife and he makes uh, a questionnaire and he hands it to potential wives. It's funny and there's a second book which I'm going to read during the Christmas break. I've actually made a video of book suggestions which I will link at the end of this video so you can check it out if you're interested in books. So this is book number one. The other book which had a lot to do with productivity and management and you know getting things done and assessment and all that is this book. The decision book I read this in one night it is so easy to understand and it really makes you think about the way you organize your daily um, your daily tasks and it, it's really interesting and things that are important and to look and it even tells you like how you decide on gifts and stuff like that so very interesting if you're if you're into, you know, productivity and strategies and decision making and all that, this is a good read, the decision book. Um, so yeah, these are books I enjoyed. Now let's move on to more girly stuff and we're going to talk about clothes and fashion and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, so you know me, I've been talking about organization and stuff, so I think you need one of these in your life. I don't know what they're called. They're like lipstick makeup organizers. And I got this one in, where did I get it? TK Maxx in England. And yeah, yes, I have this these many lipsticks. So yeah, I put my lipsticks in here and I know what I'm looking at. And it's a good good thing to have on your vanity. And the other good thing to have is this. I have my earrings, I just brought it here as a decor, but I have my earrings and jewellery always hanging on a nice little lady statue thingy. <laughs> and yeah, it looks pretty in your bedroom, so if you like these kinds of things, you can check one of these out as well and buy it as a gift or for yourself. I have a couple, I like this one, it's polka dots and pink and what's not to like. Um, and what else? Clothes. Um, H&M is has a lot of hoodies at the moment and this is mm, the hoodie I'm enjoying <laughs> little red riding hood yeah so if you like hoodies and if you want something comfortable to wear there's a nice pocket it's nice and soft keeps you warm you can wear it around the house I like it and I have like a few in different colors and I've washed them so they don't shrink nothing happens good quality check them out the other thing you need to check out is Zara cardigans I wore this throughout the summer it's a black cardigan I also got it in a cream and 
it keeps you warm for the summer it keeps you warm you know if you want an extra layer during the winter as well the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a zipper or any buttons but it does this fancy little roll-on detail thingy so yeah they're very inexpensive affordable so you should check them out at, in, at Zara and you can just fold it up and chuck it in your bag which is something else I like as well and finally I used this nice bag I got as a present for my birthday and uh, it's from Cochinelle it's an Italian brand really nice clutch bag I wore it a lot during the winter and it's a metallic color I used it during I wore it during the summer throughout the year and I thought I'd give it a mention because it's the holidays and I'm gonna take it out with me <laughs> one take it out with me I'm gonna go out with the bag um, during the uh, holidays you know this period as well um, so yeah these are some of my random favorites YouTube channels I really enjoy watching um, Marnie Goldberg, Miss Gold Girl, she's an American YouTuber, you should check her out. Uh, Elle Florence is a Canadian YouTuber who does videos about, you know, makeup. They, all these people I'm going to mention are, you know, makeup, lifestyle, they do vlogs and stuff like that. So Elle Florence, I really enjoy watching her videos. Um, Christina Braley, who's pretty shiny sparkly. I'll link all these channels below if you're interested in watching a few YouTube YouTube videos and if you don't already watch their videos you should check them out uh, so yeah thanks so much for watching this video leave a comment below and tell me your random favorites or if you've used any of these products what you think about them and give this a thumbs up because that's what everyone says don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out and I enjoy seeing my channel grow and yeah thanks for watching happy holidays um, and yeah, see you in my next video. Bye!